I'm going to show you how you can use a AI knowledge base to give your customers more information and access to all the information that they need instantly at their fingertips that's going to make your business more money and also save money by essentially automating customer service. Uh, and this is done incredibly easily. You can do this in a matter of clicks in less than five minutes. So give me five minutes of your time and I'll show you exactly how to get this set up. Now, first thing we need to know is exactly what information we're going to be giving to our customer. Uh, so for example, if let's say this is our website and traditionally when a customer comes on and they're going to purchase our product, we need them to get access to information. They need to understand what our product does. Uh, typically a website will have multiple blog pages, which will essentially be advertorials that will teach them about the information about our product and then get them to purchase. Uh, we will then send them on a bit of a loop around the website before they finally understand what our product is and what they're going to buy. Uh, if we're doing direct marketing, it's going to be directly to our product page and hoping that they're going to buy. But the problem with this model is customers have to spend a long time finding the information. So for example, somebody's just found out about your business. They're going to come in, they're going to read a blog, then they're going to go ahead and read another one. Then they're going to bounce around your website until they finally get the information that they need to then make a decision to purchase your product. And the problem is, Depending on how easily laid out your website is, this could take a customer anywhere between like five minutes to probably even closer to an hour. Uh, and that is too much time for somebody to be able to get basic information about your product. So, you know, there's all sorts of things that we can do. We can build specific uh, pages that are going to teach and help people answer questions. Uh, but the easiest thing to do is just basically take all of this information, uh, create an AI knowledge base, uh, and then let the user find the information themselves rather than us having to predict exactly what information that they're looking for. Now, there's a few powerful things that can come of this. The first thing is the customer now no longer needs to bounce around and find all the information. They can get access to the information instantly. The second thing is, as a business, we can understand what questions our users are, sorry, what questions our customers are asking about our business, and then we can use that to improve our website, improve our conversion rates. So, what do we actually do? Well, the first thing that we do is we collect all the information that that customer could ever want. And the easiest way to do this is scraping the entire website. So we're gonna basically just get a list of all of the web pages. So your website could have 10 pages on it or it could have 100 pages on it. All of that information we are going to collect and gather together into one central database. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pick and choose which information that customers or people who come and visit our website will be able to access. And we can create chatbots that allow us to access this data. So now, as opposed to somebody having to go and find that specific web page and then read the you know 1,000 words on each web page, all we need to do is connect that specific bit of data directly to the uh, chatbot. So now, when somebody asks a question, for example, uh, like here, what is chat IQ? The chatbot is able to go directly to the data that it's been given, read that data for the user, extract only the relevant information and provide a very simple uh, summary of that information to that user. So now the user no longer has to process this information themselves. We've basically inputted uh, what is basically an AI language model in between our data and that customer. So now the customer basically talks directly to the AI, the AI goes and finds the information and brings it back to the customer. Now, we can actually do the same thing again for our product. We can say, for example, if this information here is the front end of our website, but we actually want to be able to give the customer information uh, once they've bought our product, uh, we can actually select that. And let's say, for example, we'll give this blue. Uh, we can say all of this blue information is information from the back end of our business. And if that's the case, all we need to do is create yet again another uh, chatbot and that chatbot is going to reference uh, information from these other bits of data. So now when somebody asks a question to our chatbot, uh, it's only going to be able to access the information that we've given it. So for example, in this case, right, we've got this chatbot up here, which is facing the front of the website. This is where someone comes onto the website. They can ask questions about the website. But maybe we want uh, our customers who are, I don't know, using our product to get access to product specific information or we could turn our product 
into a chatbot as well. Let's say our product is a course with, uh, we could take the transcripts and upload that to an AI knowledge base, or you know, we've got uh, tutorials, documentation that teach people how to use a software. We can add that to a knowledge base, and we can pick and choose which data that we turn into which chatbots by uh, literally just clicking and selecting. So now we have an understanding of how this works and the benefits of obviously adding this to our website, how can we do this incredibly easily? So if you head to uh, this software chatiq.ai, uh, it's in the top link down below in the description. Uh, this is my software. You can actually, and I've labeled this, you can create a real-time customer support agent, but essentially you can build your own AI knowledge base uh, and turn it into a chatbot. And then you can embed that chatbot into your website. And for example, you can see here, I've asked a few questions. I've said, what is chat IQ? It's gone ahead and it's read all of my pages on my website and given me uh, a response. Uh, and then also you can see here, if I ask it, why should I use chat IQ? It's gonna go ahead and look for the information on the website, and then it's gonna draft me a response. And you can see just how quickly it's accessing that information and giving me feedback. Uh, so all you need to do is uh, start a free account, and then you're gonna come to a page which doesn't exactly look like this when you first sign up, but you can build uh, knowledge bases. So you can see here, I have got uh, 87,000 words uploaded, and this is what I'm just building for the internal uh, team. So this is just all the stuff I've got. Now, all of the URLs that I've scraped are front-facing information, right? So this green stuff here, is the front facing information. This is information about my website and my product. I will be able to select that information and I can say, right, let's turn this into a chatbot. I'm just gonna select eight for now. We can just create a new chatbot. Uh, we can give it a name. We can give it an intro message. Uh, and then you can see here, it's only got eight selected files, which means when I ask it a question, it's only gonna be accessing this green information. Uh, then we can go ahead and build the chatbot. Now, once we've built the chatbot, if we want to, uh, we can add or remove data later on. So this is another chatbot I've built and it's got access to all of this information. If I want to, I can go into the knowledge base and I can add additional information. Or if I want to, I can actually remove information from that chatbot. So if I updated uh, this link, for example, or if I updated this PDF, I could delete the PDF and upload a new PDF, and reattach it to the chatbot. So once we've built our chatbot, uh, it comes down to just designing it and building something that's going to be useful for our customers. Uh, so you can see here we've got all sorts of things that we can adjust. So I've just been playing around with this one here. So I've just given this one an introduction message. Hello, I'm the interface. Ask me anything about chat IQ. Uh, I can you know, play around with the branding. I can change the colors. I can do all sorts of things. So for example, if we come to the logo, just going to upload the Instagram logo. Once that's done, if we click on save, it's now going to update the logo at the top of our chatbot and also here. Now we can also update the widget icon that's being used as well. We can change the logo of that. You can change the branding. You can do all sorts of really cool things. But here's the really fun part, right? When somebody's talking to this chatbot, they're only talking to this data here. But let's say, for example, we now want to build another chatbot that's using uh, the information here from our back end, right? So we can just select all the data that we want and then we can create another chatbot. And this chatbot is now only using that backend information. So now when we talk to, uh, I don't know, let's say we'll just call it like this chatbot here, uh, it's only gonna be using the information from this chatbot. And then if we come over to launch, we get this little script here. We can copy this script uh, and we can actually uh, head on to our website builder, paste it in the head code, and now we have that chatbot embedded into our website. But it gets even cooler. Uh, we can actually start to gather support tickets from our customers because, for example, right, if somebody's talking to this data, this knowledge base here, uh, if you forget to leave information in there or if somebody gets angry or there's not enough information for the AI to be able to use to answer their question, what it'll do is it'll intelligently understand the emotion of that person and it will then recommend that they submit a support ticket. And you can see it's done that here. I've just actually basically forced it to do it by asking it to submit a support ticket. Uh, it's given the contact details, which you can add in the dashboard as well. Now I can submit a support ticket and I can adjust the categories. So here I've, I've actually set chat IQ up to allow people to submit a bug, a suggestion, or an account uh, issue. So if I've got an account issue, I can put in my lead information. I can let the, uh, the company know, I can let, if I'm a customer, right, I can let the company know what my problem is. Uh, and then if we come into the dashboard within ChatIQ and we select the chatbot that's currently live, 
here we have a list of all of our support tickets. So for example, uh, this user here had an issue with uh, their billing. They didn't understand why they'd been charged. So I can actually respond to this user. I can either use the AI to respond to it, which is gonna use my knowledge base, right? So it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna talk to this knowledge here that this chatbot has got access to, and it's gonna draft a response for me to talk to that user. I can then close the ticket once I'm done. So that is basically how ChatIQ works. There's a lot of other bits and pieces that you can do, but essentially it allows you to build multiple knowledge bases for your business and create multiple chatbots to talk to that data uh, and use it either internally or externally. The other thing it does just really quickly is it caches the responses uh, from people, and depending on the questions that they've asked. So if I ask what is chat IQ, you'll notice that it only takes a matter of seconds to get a response. And that's because I've asked this question before. And if I've asked this question before, it makes sense to cache the response. But if I don't like it, I can go ahead and I can adjust the response or I can add additional data to make sure the chatbot has uh, the correct knowledge to respond uh, and using its responses. So if you have any other questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comments. The software is, like I say, chatiq.ai. I will leave the link down below. You can go ahead uh, and get started. You've got a two-week free trial to play around with uh, and set it up on your website.